Well, it's me, and I'm heading back to the Postal Annex in Lafayette because they wouldn't release the package that I went to pick up for Donna because I'm not on the form, and Donna had to, to uh, fill out a, a portion of this to say that it's okay for me to pick it up, but uh, no telling. They'll probably still give me a bad time about this because it's like the sixth time I've gone through this at that Postal Annex. Whenever they deliver something, they, they can't bring it back to the house. They've got to have you sign this and then pick it up at the Annex, and which is a waste of time, which is a pain in the ass. But I'm doing it, uh, but we'll see uh, how it goes trying to pick up a package for Donna that she needs desperately for tomorrow. Huh. Okie dokie. And uh, look who's already in the car. Look at these two little dirty pigs. There's D'Artagnan. And there's little Boo, <laughs> ready to go for a ride. Hold on. <laughs> they get excited. They jumped in earlier. <laughs> I got them trained. Oh. Trying to train them how to drive the car so I can have a little chauffeur. Oh, anyway, there they are. Oh, oh, lick the lid. Oh, lick the lens. <laughs> Here we go. You guys ready? Oh, Boo loves to look out the window, huh? Yeah, I know. Okay, and D'Artagnan does too. Well, here we are on the road to beautiful downtown Lafayette. We uh, used to live real close to the Postal Annex, but um, we had a condo or townhome about three years ago. Donna uh, rented it, and we moved down here to the other part of Lafayette, which is all the way across town, across country. So it's like a drive to get back to the Postal Annex. And um, it's a nice ride. It's a beautiful ride, but it's like driving to the country. Looking left. Looking right, and away we go. Oops, forgot the signal. <laughs> but I'm gonna take it for that. So the uh, police in Lafayette, well I tell you, Johnny Law is doing his job here because I got two tickets in about a week period of time. Uh, one was going through a school district. I was going over 35, but it was like at 10 o'clock at night, and this cop uh, pulled me over with the whole family in the back and uh, we're coming back from a play, I think, in the city, San Francisco. Gives me a ticket, and uh, it's like, nobody's on the road, you know. I'm probably going 35, 40. Okay, it's over the speed limit, but uh, this guy was being a real a-hole. So I got a ticket for that. Then, the next, um, what was it? Another week later, I was coming down that street that we just came down there, and I got another ticket for speeding down the street, so, you know, go figure. <laughs> Obviously, uh, times are tough, and the cities have to make their money, so they're giving tickets out. So if you're in Lafayette, California, beautiful Lafayette, or the Tri-Valley of La Marinda, be careful, because Johnny Law is uh, looking for you. And, uh, you might get a ticket. So go slow. And every time I come down to this postal annex, um, I have a hard time finding it. <laughs> it's like hidden. So when I get up there, I'll show you what I mean. But uh, it's like I have to drive by it, turn around, come back, because it's like hidden down the side street. And you'd think I would learn. I mean, I've done this like a half a dozen times, but uh, <laughs> can't teach an old dog new tricks. I guess. We're getting close. I can feel it in my bones. Maybe that was it. To remember, it would be nice. Thank you. Yeah. Man, we appreciate it. Why do they make it so yeah. difficult? See, they don't want you to find your packages. They really, I believe, they really do not want you to find to pick up your packages. They want to send them back. Spain. Spain, yeah. Okay, here. No, maybe it's up here. Oh, for the love of God, what the hell is this place? Frustrating. Every time I come here, you know, I can't find this place. <laughs> Amazing. All right, Mr. Cameraman, see if you can find it. It's over here on our left now, which our left. They like hide it. There it is. See? Look at that. Lafayette Carrier Annex. <laughs> oh boy, we found it. They tried to they tried to hide it from us, but uh, <laughs> new such luck today. Look at this. See, there's the sign. You see that? The carrier annex? Yeah. Anyway. Then you gotta go up this road. Oops, and run into the people. There's the gray brick building. 
with Donna's package in it, and hopefully we'll get to pick it up today. But uh, there's no guarantee, folks. Ay, yeah, yeah. My goodness. You ever had this problem in your town? Probably not. Customer parking. I'll probably get a ticket for parking in the wrong customer parking area. You know, I have a customer. I, I need my tag. I need my notice. And I need my uh, ID. I'll be right back, you guys. <laughs> Let's see how it goes this time. I'm not the friendly as much here either. Of course, uh, now that I'm filming, I'll probably be kissing my rear end. So we'll see. Sign in. And we're waiting. And we're waiting. And we'll wait some more. 2 p.m. Oh no, 4 p.m. Well, it's Friday, so today is Friday. Somebody should be here. <laughs> like a, hey, hi. Any good picture you take? Yeah, I take a picture. <laughs> I'm taking a picture of the wall there. Oh, yeah, you called. Right? Yes, yeah, I called. Thanks. Yes, okay. 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 All righty. I had to call her. Hey, how do you like my new glasses? I got these at TJ Maxx. Four dollars. They're cool because they're obviously sunglasses, but down below, can't see it. Bifocal. <laughs> so when you get to be, you know, ancient like me, uh, you need to have reading glasses, and these are two in one. And you can't beat the price for it. Oh, okay. Still waiting for our package for Donna at the postal. Anna. I just like saying Anna. Isn't that fun to say? <laughs> the postal. Anna. Here is your tax dollars at work. Huh? I wonder if there's any good mail in those bins over there. I wonder if Ed McMahon left a big check in one of those. Probably not. It's a nice forklift. Hmm, I wonder if I could put that in my car. You can see that bad boy on eBay tomorrow, I tell you, I guarantee it. Look at this. Walk out into the sunlight. I feel like I'm out walking into the sun because I picked up Tana's package. <laughs> it was an ordeal, but was it worth it? Oh, you bet it was. <laughs> She's going to love this because this came straight from China. Uh, I don't know what it is. I think it may be some shoes. I hope they're special. But uh, she's going to have this for tomorrow because we're going to a friend's, a relative of hers, wedding up in Sacramento or Sacramento. And she's been waiting for this package for days. So here it is. Let me get it. Put it in the car. Look at that. You see what that is, huh? Hmm? You see this? Yeah, they want it. Ah, 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 ah. You're not going anywhere. See that? Huh? You see it? Okay. Okay, we picked up our package and we're ready to go home. Yay! Being attacked <laughs> by D'Artagnan and Boo. <laughs> attack dogs. They attack with their tongues. They uh, oh, man, I like to lick my ears. The rotting carbs. My like earwax. Yuck. But according to um, Webster's Dictionary, um, earwax to dogs is like ice cream to humans. So uh, they're just having a little ice cream, I guess. <laughs> earwax ice cream flavor. Yummy. And uh, there's the dirty pig right there. <laughs> and we're on our way. Okay, here's the little pooper dogs, and we're ready to go. So, okay, come on. Hold on, just a minute. Nope, wrap it around my legs. You're wrapping the cords around my legs. Just for God's sake. <laughs> and now we're heading out home. And I think we're going to go see a movie later. We're going to go see a movie. The, um, that Inception one with Leonardo DiCaprio. Nice. So, uh, we've got that going for us. Which is nice.